Well, this next story is the one that just keeps on giving. Uh, we'll start by showing you the Arlington subdivision in question. A lot of nice homes there. Uh, it's right on the border. Everyone agrees with that uh, of Shelby County and Fayette County uh, and the city line of Arlington. Uh, one of the people who occupies these, one of these beautiful homes is Lee Mills. He's a FedEx pilot and uh, he wanted to, wants to run for state representative to challenge uh, Mr. Leatherwood, Tom Leatherwood. And uh, he was told, you can't do it because you live in Fayette County. He said, well, that's news to me. So now there's this debate over the maps. And we have census maps that say, uh, actually, he does live 500 feet within the Fayette County line. But now a judge has ruled that, well, no, he does live in Shelby County. We'll just call it, call it like we see it for now. He can run. It's okay. But then that raises another question. Lee Mills happens to be married to Amber Mills, who's a Shelby County commissioner. And uh, of course, now she has to go before a judge and defend where she lives, even though her roommate, another judge said, is in Shelby <laughs> County. So it's just <laughs> kind of silly, honestly. But it raises, even if we decide how, who can vote for who, and apparently the election commission did come up with a, a temporary fix on this until the state legislature can intervene that will allow all those neighbors to, to vote in the August and November elections. But uh, we haven't resolved the issue of who who pay, what taxes do you pay? You pay Shelby County taxes or Fayette County? A lot of neighbors say, well, I'd rather pay Fayette County, honestly, if I had the choice. Mm -hmm. uh, and you even had Melvin Burgess, the uh, Shelby County property appraiser, having a news conference on the front yard of uh, Lee Mills to, uh, Friday as we record this, uh, saying, uh, yeah, this is Shelby County. This is not Fayette County. Hands off Fayette County. So that's where it stands right now. And it uh, just gets uh, sillier and sillier. And since uh, uh, Daniel, you uh, follow this probably pretty closely. I know you know the, the people involved here. Uh, what are your thoughts about how this is shaking out? You know, in a, in a town with a history of head scratching political stories, you can put this one on the list. <laughs> End of the day, it's all good people involved here. I mean, Lee and Amber Mills are friends. They've, they've been good leaders for Shelby County for years now. I think Amber does a great job on the commission. Just full disclosure, I've donated to her reelection campaign. See her continue to do a good job. Uh, Tom Leatherwood's a good man. He's he's had many years of public service in our area as well. And it seems like the right people are getting together and making the right decisions here. You know, for a, a period of time there, the most intolerable outcome was going to be that our neighbors in that subdivision were going to be paying Shelby County's higher tax rate, but yet not able to vote for the officials who were in charge of those taxes. And you guys know as well as I do that taxation without representation has never polled well in the United States. <laughs> so I'm glad the election commission has got that straightened out. Reverend Whalen, though, the, the situation is, is interesting because it, because it is Shelby County. A lot of uh, people who uh, have been in the county for a while wondering if were there some uh, malfeasance going on, <laughs> uh, some shenanigans going on that excluded a possible opponent conveniently by 500 feet from being able to initially to go on the ballot. What are your thoughts about that? I smiled all during Daniel's uh, comments because I'm sure he would like to move on <laughs> from this. Uh, I, I, love, I love to see Republicans at one another and engaging in a sort of keystone coppery kind of uh, activity. But I will say this, I think it's gonna work out fine. Um, and it delights me that a good Democrat Shelby County Assessor Melvin Burgess is the one who put the issue to rest at least for a little while. <laughs> yeah, he uh, wrote a letter uh, to four high-ranking state officials declaring this issue is over. It's right. settled in, in his mind. But uh, your thoughts on the political side of this, Otis? Well, I, I, I do think that this is an example of it's not all sugar and spice over in Republican land. Uh, <laughs> they've been fighting a lot this year. They're fighting over this. They had a real big knockdown, drag out fight in the recent primary uh, in the uh, uh, County Commission District 4 race. Uh, so they're not seeing eye to eye right now. Uh, and the journalism skeptic in me says there may have have been some shenanigans here because let's look at past here, Richard. Uh, four, uh, two years ago, Lee Mills ran for the same seat uh, and lost. He lost to Leatherwood and actually lost pretty heavily. There was no mention of him not living uh, in Shelby County and he was living in the same house. He'd been paying taxes out there for at least five years or more. And so why didn't it come up two years ago? Why is it just coming up now? I believe that Mr. Leatherwood has uh, less popularity now than he did before. There were some questionable uh, bills that he sponsored this year, and so he is somewhat vulnerable, and I think that Lee Mills presents a big challenge to him. Uh, I'm not saying that Leatherwood had anything to do with any of this, but it is kind of curious to me.
Well, no matter how you land well, Daniel, on it. Well, Daniel, wait, Daniel is here. Daniel is here, Richard. Ask Daniel. <laughs> Come on, Daniel. All right, Daniel, have at it. <laughs> I, I know of no shenanigans. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he votes no shenanigans. No okay. shenanigans. We'll, we'll take right. that. All right. We'll take that. Hopefully, we'll, we'll find out that you're right about that, uh, Daniel. Uh, <laughs> but I want to ask too about the uh, the broader implications for it's just exposing a lot of silly state laws, some of which go back decades and decades. About well, if you've paid taxes in another county to another, and you live in another county, you st you're now a resident of, of that county. So right. in other words, if they had been in Fayette County all this time, but he's been paying Shelby County taxes, he is in fact a Shelby County resident, uh, and on and on it goes. There are all these you know, exceptions and variances and things like that that uh, it gets kind of it gets kind of silly. Well, no question about it. And I think in this case, uh, you, know, you had the census maps uh, and you had the local uh, uh, maps. And the local maps, I think, should rule, uh, should win the day here. And I think it is winning the day. Uh, I agree with Ken. I was glad to see Melvin Burgess out there trying to put a uh, kibosh on any notion that Fayette County was going to claim uh, all these houses. I think it's. I think the the right thing is going to happen in the end. Melvin Burgess gets the award for being perhaps one of the most media savvy property assessors shall we count oh no question about it he'll call a news conference it does not matter what it is he'll be there from orange mound to arlington exactly. he's gonna he'll find a reason to have a news conference all right we're gonna have a break here when we come back talk about the pleasant topic of the memphis grizzlies and what an amazing season they had and what they did for our city right after this